just kidding. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see by the title, we have a very special video because your girl has snatched up a James Charles X Morphe palette literally before it sold out. So I am just so happy. This probably sold out in like five minutes. So I was so quick to snatch it up. I literally was on that website for probably half an hour before the launch. That is dedication right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So this is the palette. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I don't really need to explain but basically James Charles is another youtuber who has come out with a collaboration with Morphe he's created a massive palette which looks like this this is the outer packaging so I am just gonna crack it open for the first time and kind of show you guys what it looks like tell you my thoughts that kind of thing so I've actually purchased this on the UK Morphe website I'm pretty sure it's sold out at the moment I don't know when it's gonna come back in stock but yeah this is it it is wrapped in bubble wrap which is great Ooh, okay, I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> this is what the palette looks like. It is massive, like literally twice the size of my face easily. And this is the moment of truth, the colors. Let's crack it open and have a little look together. <gasps> the little like plastic thing just flew out. What is this wizardry? Ah! <laughs> Wow, okay. James Charles is not playing, you guys. He is not playing. So the palette is very colorful. It's very different to my sort of uh, palette. Like I don't really ever use colors like this, but I really wanted to give it a go. I really wanted to see if I can create a fun look for you guys. And you know, just put it to the test. So this palette I'm pretty sure cost me 39 pounds, which I feel like for a palette, of this size is a pretty decent price. I wouldn't say that's too expensive or anything. So I watched James's swatch video and all of the colors looked insane. Now I'm not gonna just sit here for an hour and swatch all of these for you, but I wanted to kind of try out a couple of different shades because some just looked insanely too good to be true. And I'm not saying that to kind of be like, ooh, tea, like maybe they weren't real, but Honestly, they were just so pigmented. So I was like, honestly shook, sister shook. So I think the one I really was intrigued by is the yellow color, which is right here. Ooh, okay. I'm just gonna do a little swatcheroo on my arm. Can you guys see that? <laughs> I mean, in person, I can definitely see that. But maybe my skin just isn't the greatest to show this color on, but it is pretty nice, like good pigment. Not flaky, what more could you want? I'm also super intrigued by this color right here, which is called Playground. When he swatched this, I was honestly like blown away at how, whoa, that is really good. Okay, okay, are you guys ready? Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so at a first glance, that is actually a really good swatch, I would say, in my opinion. It doesn't look too patchy, it's not flaky, and I mean, the pigmentation, look at it. I am gonna go in with another layer, because he does recommend to kind of layer up his shadows. Wow, okay, yes. <laughs> that is uh, that is definitely pigmented. So yeah, I think at a first glance from the swatches, I am actually pretty impressed already. So I kind of just want to dive in and have a little play around with the colors. I'm actually going to recreate one of James's looks that he posted on his Instagram. It's kind of like a transitional sort of uh, rainbow look. Now, I've never done anything like this before, so please don't judge. However, I just really want to try as many of these shades as possible. So I thought that would be the best way to do it. So if you guys are brand new here, and have never seen my face before make sure you guys come and join the dinosaur family by subscribing down below and also please hit the bell button to stay notified of all of my future uploads but if you guys want to see what I think about the James Charles and Morphe palette then let's get on into the video okay I should probably wash this off because I'm probably gonna get this on my clothes be right back okay so my lids are now all primed and ready to go so the first eyeshadow I'm gonna be taking is this one right here hmm Where's my little safety seal? Okay, first criticism of the palette. I wish that all of the names were printed on the actual palette because I lose things like crazy. And let's be honest, no one actually likes the little plastic foil things. Everyone throws them out. Okay, I have found the plastic seal. The shade that I'm gonna be using is called Tune, which is this one right here. So I'm basically just gonna pop that on a big fluffy brush and kind of blend that through my right eye crease. And this is basically just gonna be a transition color for the whole rainbow look so I'm just kind of blending it all throughout the crease it is somewhat pigmented I thought it might be a little bit more than it is 
but as a transition color it works so i can't really expect the color to be super super pigmented because obviously that would make it not very easy to work with so for the right eye i'm basically going to focus on kind of like the yellow orange red sort of tones and on this side here i'm going to do the green blue and purple so for this right eye i'm now going to transition into the oranges and i'm going to be using this bright orange right here which is the shade 518 this one looks like it's going to be really pigmented so i'm only going to pick up a tiny bit of it and i'm going to focus this orange color kind of in the very center of my crease i'm not really going to go too far into the inner corner or the outer corner just really keep it in the center so that we can kind of transition the later colors into this next up i'm going to take the shade rusted which is kind of a next up color from the orange kind of a mid shade between the orange and the red and i feel like this will really easily blend this whole look together and kind of make a transition shade all by itself without really doing too much work so i'm kind of just going to start blending this in the sort of outer corner but not completely we're leaving this part here for the ultimate red shade but already i can tell that these shades are blending in super easily like i literally have to do barely any work and it's already blended in like what the heck i'm then going to take this red shade and this is in the shade you're kidding and i'm just going to start blending this in the very outer corner of my crease okay this pigment is literally like so good <laughs> once you start kind of layering it up it just becomes so rich in color and i'm literally only using a fluffy brush like this so it's not even you know like a packing brush or anything so i'm now going to go in with a more precise blending sort of pencil brush and i'm going to reach for this color right here which is the very vibrant yellow from this palette this is in shade B and I mean, when I swatched this, I was already so impressed. So I'm gonna take this on this very, very precise brush and I'm just gonna start kind of popping that in the very inner corner into kind of like the crease portion of it. I didn't want this to be too kind of like messy, which is why I'm using a smaller brush. And this is also blending so well into that orange shade that we first laid down. I mean, look at that transition guys. This looks so good already. So now that we have this sort of a transitional yellow to red, sort of colors we can now kind of focus on the outer corner a little bit more i am leaving this portion of my eye right here because we are going to be cutting that with a cut crease but i want to kind of focus on the outer corner and really deepen that up with more of that same shadow that we used on the outer corner i mean this was already pigmented enough when we just applied it with that blending brush but now that i'm packing it on i'm just like wow the pigmentation is literally incredible but we do have a tiny bit of fallout I don't know if you guys can see, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. We will just kind of brush that off later on. I'm then going back in with that orange color and I'm just kind of letting that blend into the red. I feel like with this palette, it's all about layering and blending because the shades are so well paired that you really don't have to do that much work. And as long as you kind of layer up the colors, I feel like you'll get a really nice effect. I'm just gonna get rid of some of that fallout, which doesn't seem to feel too hard to get rid of at the moment, which is good. So I'm now just gonna take that same red color underneath my eye and do the same sort of transitional look where it goes from red, orange to yellow. I'm gonna start off with yellow on a very small pencil brush and literally just kind of pop that in the very inner corner on my lower lash line. I'm then gonna transition that into the orange color right in the center. And then I'm gonna finish off with the slightly darker orange on the very outer corner of my lower lash line. So I'm now gonna leave my right eye alone for a little bit until we do the cut crease later on and kind of do the left eye with all of the greens, blues, and purples. We're essentially doing the exact same thing. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here, which was a shade Tune. I'm gonna blend that all throughout the crease to kind of make it easier for all of the other shadows to blend into. I'm then taking this color right here, which is called Social Blade. It's like a really nice neon sort of green. And again, what I'm doing with this is I'm just popping that in the very in a corner of my eye, just like I did with the yellow, which is then gonna transition on into the blue color later on. Now I've gotta say, I would never think to wear a green shadow on my eyes because I have blue eyes and it just never looks that great, but this shadow is actually really pretty. I'm then taking the blue color, which is in the shade Playground, and again, I'm just gonna use the same brush because I kind of want all of the shadows to transition into each other. I'm gonna start blending that in the very center of the lid. It blends like an absolute dream. These these colors are usually so hard to work with, especially because I don't use them very often. And I mean, that looks like a pretty pro blend to me, so 
I am living for it. I'm then taking the purple shadow for the very outer corner. So I'm just gonna take that on my big fluffy brush and I'm gonna really pop that in the very outer corner and really blend it into the rest of the blue. Okay, so I'm kind of coming across a slight difficulty with the purple shadow. It's not really as easy to blend as all of the other colors, unfortunately. So I'm kind of having to do a little bit more work. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of using this lighter purple shade and kind of almost blending it with this light pink one right here and I feel like that kind of makes the blending of this dark purple a little bit easier I don't know what do you guys think does that look like a decent blend I can't even tell anymore so just as I did on the right eye on my outer corner I'm also gonna do the same thing for the left eye and I'm taking the purple shadow on a little flat brush like this and I'm just really gonna build up that pigment in the very outer corner to make sure that it's super smoky and really opaque I'm now gonna focus on the lower lash line so I'm doing exactly the same as I did on the top and I'm taking the kind of like neon green color i'm placing that in the very inner corner which then follows on into the blue in the very center of my lash line and lastly we have the purple which goes on the very outer corner of my lower lash line so i feel like my transitional colors are now finished and complete and i'm actually really impressed with how this looks i am going to say one thing that i've kind of noticed throughout using this palette and that is when you pick up the shades from the palette with your brush you do kind of get a little bit of a kickback it's not too much but i thought it's worth mentioning you can kind of see it on certain shades more than others for example that orange one right there has quite a bit of it even though I'm not really digging my brush into it or anything it just kind of looks like I have been I'm personally super gentle with the way I use palettes and I don't really dig my brush in but you can kind of see that it has got a little bit of kickback and fallout of course that's not really a deal breaker for me because I feel like all these shadows perform super well but I just thought it might be a thing that is worth mentioning so what I'm gonna do now is start to carve out my cut crease of this look so for this I'm gonna use my NYX contour palette now I know this is a contour palette but it has got some really nice cream shades that are actually perfect to kind of cut out your cut crease so I'm gonna take this shade right here which kind of has like a yellowy sort of undertone to it and I'm just gonna start kind of applying that to my lid now I've got to say I'm not a pro at cut creases so this does take me quite some time <laughs> So I've now finished the half cut crease and set it with that white shadow and honestly I am so impressed it hasn't creased too much and I mean this is probably my best attempt at doing a really creative eye makeup look like this and I have to say it probably is all down to the palette just because it is super easy to use blend and that kind of stuff now moving on to the eyeliner today I'm gonna be using a felt tip one this one is the Rimmel Wonder Wing eyeliner it comes with a really nice precise tip like this so I really like to use this as it makes a winged liner so much easier I'm not gonna go for anything too crazy just a little wing to kind of complement this look So now that my eyeliner is finished, I'm just gonna top everything off with a little bit of mascara. The one I'm using today is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is my current go-to at the moment, so I'm just gonna pop a few coats of that onto my lashes. And lastly, to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna be popping on some false lashes. The ones I'll be using today are the Backstage Lashes in shade Hollywood. These are absolutely beautiful. They're so like fluttery, I just love them. So I'll link them down below if you guys wanna check them out. So I'm now just gonna finish off the look with a touch of highlighter. So the one I'm using today is the Ofra pillow talk and I'm just gonna pop that on my cheekbones just because I feel like you know I'm missing a little bit of highlight in my life so this is the finished look and what it turned out like I honestly love this look so much I feel like this is probably one of my favorite looks I've ever done on this channel but let me know what you guys think down below did I do a good job at recreating James's look I've got to say I definitely approve of the James Charles X Morphe collab I honestly had so much fun at using all of these different shades as I've said throughout this video the only two downsides I can think of about this palette is the fact that when you kind of like pick up the shadow on your brush there is a little bit of kickback not too much and I 
feel like it's not really a deal breaker for me, but I just thought, you know, some people might not like that. And the second thing is the fact that I wish the shade names were on the actual palette. I mean, there is enough space for it, so they easily could have been printed on. Because I know that this is just kind of an annoyance to the beauty community, like, no one actually likes these. But apart from that, I am really, really impressed with the whole palette, and I feel like James did such a good job at creating such an amazing product. But let me know your thoughts, what do you guys think of the James X Morphe collab? Do you like it? Will you be purchasing it? Also, if you have any other suggestions of different palettes you would like me to try out, perhaps some different YouTuber collaborations, then let me know in the comments below. I would love to do those for you. But that is all from me. You guys know the drill. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. But that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.